Hey guys, I'm currently in Canada. You know, the place that doesn't exist. Don't ask how I got here. Anyway, here in Canada, winters are especially harsh. And that's why I came here. It's been my lifelong dream to get frostbite, but I'm starting to get cold. Maybe that cabin there can warm me up. When I was around the age of 9, I absolutely hated winter, and now I can't even see why. Don't get me wrong, I like the summer, but now I think winter is my favorite season. It just gives me good feelings. Off topic a bit, but I really want to go to Nunavut, Canada someday. I, I know that's highly specific, but whatever. Oh, and the snow, mmm, the snow is amazing. That was the main reason I hated it back then. But now I just think it was because I didn't like dressing up a lot. As a stupid nine-year-old, it made me say, that's it, I'm going back to the womb. Speaking of snow, Utah apparently is the best snow on earth. And that's a lie. Well, I mean, it, it's not a lie, but it's, it's half true. The snow is good for skiing but pretty bad for everything else. Speaking of skiing though, I have a funny story about that. So this one time me and my dad went skiing at this place. There were multiple places to ski, but because we both sucked at skiing at the time, we just did the baby one over and over again. It was fun, but right as we were about to leave, I asked if we could go up the level two hill. It was right next to us and my dad said, yeah, okay. Just a bit of perspective to how much of a baby we both were. The hill we were just on didn't even have a ski lift. It had like a little escalator thing to get up. And the one that we were going to go on did have a ski lift. So we got in line and the person instructed us on how to get on the ski lift. Okay, so you want to get in the path of the seat and then okay, sit down. Okay, with... yeah, I think I know what to do, man. Okay. And while my dad managed to get on it, I didn't. I got on the next one, and you know what? That was absolutely terrifying. There was no safety. There wasn't even a bar you could pull down to protect yourself. You were 50 feet up in the air on an icy seat without my dad. I remember there was a tree with a bunch of necklaces on it. I, I, I have no idea how they got up there. And I'm sorry for the underpaid employee who has to get those down. I was scared and probably crying like the baby I was. But eventually we made it to the end and when I got off the seat smacked me in the back of the head for good measure. Anyways, my dad was a little frightened. We both got first place in the suck competition. But I didn't give a crap. I just went. I thought I was gonna be okay if I did the pizza french fries thingy. But then I was going too fast and had to do the pizza french fry thingy. And I couldn't do them. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! I flew down the mountain faster than I I had ever gone before. I tried to fall over to stop myself and I wouldn't go down. I speed into the ski lift line at the bottom and there is a nice comfortable brick wall ready to stop me if I didn't stop before. At this point, I actually fell over and stopped myself with one of the line poles. It kind of hurt. Literally the same guy who gave me the instructions was on their phone. They looked up and said, y You good? And I said, No, I think I pulled something. I need some help. And then he said, Okay. And just sat there. What a kind-hearted individual doing their job. Anyways, my dad came down, helped me up, we got a quick snack, and then we left. By the way, that snap was chips and Skittles, which was a really good combination, I, I think. Got a little something sweet, got a little something salty. It was great. Anyway, skiing is a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure it's the only reason there's a Winter Olympics. After that, I did go skiing a bit more. There would be this bus after school that would grab all the kids and take them to the mountains. And this bus was pretty luxurious. It was big and it would play movies on the way up there. They had a bathroom. It was so cool. And I made a lot of friends on that bus. You know, the types of friends you meet once at like a park and never see them again. I wonder how those kids are doing nowadays. On the opposite side of skiing, there is skating. And I've only gone ice skating twice. Once when I was about eight and another time last November. First time, I don't remember that well. But I remember falling and getting hurt and just not getting the hang of things at all. The second time, which I can remember because it just happened, or can I? Me and my family went over, got our skates on, and went out onto the rink. It was going well, I guess, but I still could not get the hang of it. Eventually, I fell on my butt, and while it didn't hurt that much, it knocked the wind out of me. So I went to sit on the benches they had, my mom came in to check on me, and we decided to go back out. And literally the first step I took onto the rink... I fell onto my back and hit my shoulder right onto the decline. This not only knocked the wind out of me again, but I was in even more pain. So, 
I got myself back onto the benches, laid down because I was in incredible hurt, and after a couple of minutes, this guy comes in and tells me that I can't be there. Now, there was an exit that would get me back to the entrance, but as I started going that way, he told me, nope, you gotta go back onto the ice. So I very carefully got back on, slowly slid all the way around to the entrance, sat down, and died. We still had like an hour left on our reservation, so I just sat there for an hour waiting for the rest of my family to get finished. Now, I know the once it happens, twice is a coincidence, and thrice is a pattern rule, but I'm not gonna hurt myself again to prove that ice skating is not for me. Good on you if you like falling and hurting yourself, but... No. I'm going to sit here on this nice little bench. Benches never hurt anyone. But I can't believe I've gone through this whole video. Well, I can't because I've been talking about skiing and skating for the entirety of it. I can't believe I haven't talked about Christmas yet. Christmas is just the best holiday. Some people like their birthday more because it's a day all about them. But does your birthday have thousands of movies made after it? Didn't think so, Timmy! One of the things my family does is go out when it's really snowy and look at the fun Christmas lights. It's really enjoyable and fills me with the Christmas mood. I'm really looking forward to that this year. Also, sorry if you don't celebrate Christmas, you're still cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and... Oh, what's that, Brody? Please, please don't like and subscribe. Please don't. He, he's insane. Please, please don't. All right. Be sure to like and subscribe. Please don't subscribe. <laughs>uh, also, my cousin Davey, he voiced the nurse for like one second. If you blinked, you maybe noticed, you might not have noticed it, but whatever. Uh, send in fan art, you can always get it in for the next video. And be sure to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss another banger video. I'm gonna take a break for the rest of the year to spend the holidays with my family, and I suggest you do the same. Happy holidays, everybody.